Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a review video on the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop makeup line. They currently have four items in this makeup line which I'm going to be trying out in a full face video today. Um, I know they have a foundation brush I believe. I believe they have a foundation brush for this line which I do not have. I don't have any NYX like um, makeup tools but I'm going to use some tools like show you differences using like a sponge and a brush and stuff like that. Um, but yeah I have the concealer, the foundation, the powder, and the primer, which the primer, and my if you watched my last video, you guys know that I really like that primer. So, yeah, that's like basically the only product that I actually tried out from this line. I bought the foundation first because this is what came out first, and then right after I ordered this, because I recently just ordered this with like the beginning of December, I believe. It was before the primer came out, and then I bought the primer, like, I want to say like a week later when it came out so I bought the primer and then I just tried the primer because I just I don't know first product that we're gonna be starting off with is the primer of course because you gotta prime your face before you can apply makeup so this is the can't stop won't stop mattifying primer this primer is actually like so so good it reminds me of the Becca ever matte primer but this one is way better way better because the Becca one it would like First of all, if you apply too much, it would like ball up and flake off, and it will also, or it will either give me a white cast, and I will only apply it to my nose, so it will either give me a white cast, or it will either will flake up, and it didn't really keep my face matte either. This one, for a drugstore primer, is like honestly the best. This is the best matte drugstore primer that I've ever tried. When I say it keeps your face matte, it keeps your face matte. I can tell you that now. So that this is like my mini review on this because this is like the only product that I tried out of the line. I'm just going to tell you now, if you have really super oily skin, this is going to be your go-to primer. You cannot add a lot of this primer because this primer will cause a white flash, right, white cast, not flash, or either it will either ball up. I can tell you that because the first time I tried it, it did that and I had to wipe my makeup, not my makeup, but I had to wipe it off and reapply it because I didn't think it was going to be exactly like the Becca primer, but it is, so yeah. So I'm just going to put this in my T-zone because that is the place I get the most oily. Like, in a couple of hours, my makeup usually just like wipes off my nose because my nose is literally just that oily. But yeah, this is what my nose looks like. It's very matte. When I say it is matte, it is matte and it's going to stay matte i can tell you that now and then for the rest of my face i'm just going to be taking the nyx angelville primer this is just a um skin perfecting primer it's just to make your skin look flawless and i'm just going to apply this to the rest of the face just because i don't want to apply that can't stop won't stop to the rest of the face because my face isn't oily all around and just for comparison of these two primers because these are both nyx primers this is the angelville this is the can't stop won't stop clearly but anyway this primer right here even though this is these both are drugstore products, this one is more expensive than this one. And to be honest with you, I kind of like this one a little bit better than this one. This one's not bad, but it's not like an oil control primer and it doesn't claim to be that. But it's just like, it's supposed to be just like to perfect this, your skin basically before you apply your makeup. But this one is like kind of expensive to be drugstore. This one is 16 to $18, I believe. And by the, the price probably have went up. Um, I believe when I picked this up the first time I bought this, it was $16.99, and I want to say the next, the second time that I bought this, it was like $17.99, I believe, while this one is $13.99, which I will definitely take this one over the Angelville one, but I will just keep purchasing the Angelville one because I do like it for the rest of my face. It does make my skin feel smooth, and it just... It does cause a white cast a little bit. I don't know if you guys can tell on camera. It's just a, like a little bit. I look a little ashy. But you can't see that once you apply like the foundation and everything. Okay, now on to the foundation. I picked up the shade Warm Mahogany. I just picked this up because I think this is my shade. I'm not exactly sure. But I know in the NYX Total Drop Control Foundation, I am in the color Deep Stable, which is a little bit not my color now that it's starting to become winter time. So it's more like a summer shade for me. And I don't really have a winter shade in that foundation. I just have a summer shade. But for this um, foundation, I picked up the color Warm Mahogany. And I'm gonna apply one side of my face with a sponge and the other side with a brush, just so you guys can see the difference. So for this side of the face, I'm gonna be taking this e.l.f. brush. This is the e.l.f. 
Ultimate Blending Brush. And then for this side, I'm going to be taking the sponge. This is the Morphe Blending Sponge, which I really like. This is like my favorite drugstore um, blending sponge because look how squishy it is. It's so soft. So, all right. So, I'm going to take one pump on the brush and apply this on this side of the face. And I'm just going to pack, I mean, like, stipple this on, basically. All right, so that is all blended out. And I'm just gonna take the sponge and apply one pump. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and zoom you guys in so you guys can try to look at the skin. Um, I know I do, my skin is not like the best skin in the world, but yeah. So the foundation does blend in very nicely with a sponge and a brush. I do like the way it covers. It does not um, share it out with a sponge. And the one pump did go a long way because usually I need like maybe one or two pumps to cover my acne, which with just one pump on each side with each two different um, makeup tools, it looks actually very flawless to be honest with you which I do want another pump just to cover fully cover my forehead and under my chin because I have more um, dark spots under my chin so yeah and I think I'm just gonna apply the rest of the face with the sponge just because I don't know just because I, I don't I just want to use the sponge I haven't used a sponge to do my foundation in forever so I just use a sponge for the rest of this video Okay, so now that the face is fully covered, I really do like the way this foundation looks. It looks very skin-like, and I really do like that. It looks, it just covers up all my dark spots, and it looks very full coverage, which I really do like. Like, and it's matte. When I say, like, usually matte foundations, it takes a while to, like, actually, like, set, but, and I'm surprised it even set this fast with even using a, um, a sponge. But it's set and it's matte, it's not going anywhere, it's just, I like it. It looks so skin-like. It doesn't even look like I have foundation on. But I really like that. Okay, so now onto the concealers, I picked up two shades. I picked up the shade Warm Honey and Mahogany. Mahogany is a little bit darker than Warm Honey, so I'm going to go in with Warm Honey first and just apply this to where I usually highlight, which is under my eyes, forehead, and above my lip. And then I'm just going to take Warm Honey and place this on top. Okay, and I'm just going to be taking my Morphe sponge again. I'm just going to take the opposite side. I'm just going to blend out this concealer. Okay, so now that the concealer is blended out, this looks very skin-like. I'm just keep blending the concealer because I did not set it yet. 
but I'm just looking at it before I set it. It looks very skin like. It looks so natural and healthy. For the next product, I'm gonna be taking the Can't Stop Won't Stop Setting Powder. This is in the shade Medium, and I believe on the display, because I picked this up in store, this was like shade number three. It said on the display, shade number three, but on the back of here, it says Medium. So it depends on where you pick it up, I guess. But um, I believe it comes in either five or six shades, I believe. And this was just number three. But anyway, I already opened it and I looked inside and I do, I had, I shook out some powder, which it still got a little bit messy, but this is what it looks like on the inside. It has like this deep pool and then it has a stopper, which I really do like because I hate when loose powders when you like accidentally drop them or set them upside down, like all this powder just comes out of the little holes. So I really do like that the, this has a stopper. So I'm just going to be taking the same sponge as before. Okay, so now that the highlighted areas are set, I'm just going to go in and lightly set the rest of the face. So now just to bring a little bit more color into the face, even though there's not really that much color that was um, taken away from setting the whole face. I'm just going to go in with this ColourPop Sheer Face Powder, and this is in the color Deep Dark. I was going to try to do a full face of all NYX products, but I don't really have that many NYX face products. So I'm just going to go ahead and contour and apply blush off camera and my eyebrows, and I'll be right back. So this is my full face. No. All right, so this is gonna be my makeup for today. It's nothing too much. All I did was add some bronzer, highlight, blush, um, did my brows and some lip gloss. But other than that, it's not too dramatic. I didn't do too much for the contour. I didn't bake or anything like that. So this is it for today. I didn't even spray my face. I didn't use any setting spray for my face. So I'm just gonna go throughout my day and then I'll come back after I'm gonna try to wear this for like maybe six or seven hours and come back and basically give you my thoughts and opinions because this foundation is a 12 hour foundation. So yeah, I'm just gonna wear it for a couple of hours, come back, show you how it looks, and give you my final thoughts and opinions. So. All right, so this is what the foundation is looking like. I've kept this on for over five hours. It's been like this all day. I have not done any touch-ups, no um, blotting, no nothing. The only thing that I touched up was the lip gloss, which I'm not really doing a review on the lip gloss. And of course, once I eat and drink and all that stuff, the lip gloss does eventually come off. So that's the only thing that I like basically reapplied to the face. Um, everything else I kept untouched. Um, and as you can see, my face does have a little bit of shine. It's not too oily, but it has like a natural glow. Like a natural glow and a natural shine that makes it even look even more skin-like. Um, I'm gonna zoom you guys in because I just want you to see. Hopefully it's focusing because I want you guys to see my nose. My nose um, is kind of not separating, but the foundation did kind of rub off. I do wear glasses, so the foundation did rub off on my nose. I don't know if you guys can see it on camera. Hopefully you can, but it did rub off. Um, let me zoom you guys back out. So yeah, it did rub off on my nose, and that's probably like the only place that it rubbed off of. I'm gonna put my glasses on just to make sure I'm looking. The only thing that I didn't like is that my smile lines, because in my last video, I put it in my smile, the primer in my smile lines, and it did kind of reduce the creasing. This, today I didn't only put it in my um, T-zone, I didn't put it in my crease, like my smile lines and they had just been very noticeable. And the foundation didn't really stick to them because they look really dark as I'm talking and as long as I, it's, it doesn't look bad, but I just noticed that and it's not as full coverage right there as I would like it to be. It just, it's like throwing me off. Um, and I don't even know if you guys can see that on camera. You probably can, but it's not as noticeable 
as like I'm looking like right at it. For the primer, I give the primer a rating of 10 out of 10 because I'm telling you this foundation is like the first foundation that I've tried that actually keeps my face matte throughout the day. If I would have kept a different foundation and a different primer on for over five hours, my face would not look like this. My nose would have been, the foundation and everything on my nose would have been gone. I'm just gonna just take some of that same ColourPop powder that I applied to the face earlier and I'm just gonna apply this to the nose just to give it some more coverage and to take away a little bit of the shine. Like even this touch up, it looks flawless. I'm gonna try to see if I can apply a touch up to the small lines, see what happens. It doesn't really do nothing for the small lines. This is a sheer powder, but I thought maybe it would give it some more coverage or fill in the creasing, but not really. And I, during the day I did look and I saw that they do have a can't stop, won't stop foundation powder, but it's only available on the NYX website and I'm gonna order that soon and try it out because I am interested in how that will, how all these products work together because right now even though I didn't have like the face powder it looks gorgeous like I really like it the foundation the foundation is very nice it is the coverage on this is very nice and it is full coverage like what it claims to be it is very nice and um I just like it I didn't think it was it's not too orange not too red it's not too drying it just feels very nice and I just like the way it looks and it's still held up throughout the day for over nine hours and this foundation claims to be 24 hours will I wear makeup for 24 hours no I will not um the longest I ever wear makeup usually is maybe like four to six hours that's probably it today I just wore it for a really long time just to like give it a full test because I have f tried that primer before and when I tried the primer I only wore it for maybe like four hours that day I want to say four hours maybe four and a half hours the day I like um, went out and tried it and then when I tried it in that my last video I probably wore it for maybe I want to say maybe three three and a half hours not even no more than four I can tell you that now um but yeah so that's why I tried it out for a long time today. So onto the powder. The powder is very nice. It's not cakey and it's not heavy. It is very lightweight. I don't know what else to say. Like it didn't give me a white cast. It didn't cause any flashbacks. I did do a flash test. It just wasn't any flash with this. Um, I do like it. It doesn't make my under eyes feel dry. I put it on my eyes, which my eyes and concealer, I don't really mind like the creasing and like it rubbing off because my eyes are moving all day and I have hooded eyes and my eyes have a lot of creases in them. So I don't really care about that. I just wanted it to be like kind of like an even look with the eyes and the face and everything. So that's why I put the powder and concealer on there and it did kind of crack up a little bit on the inner corner of this eye. And yeah, like the concealers, these concealers, they're very nice. I do like them. They're very creamy. Um, I don't believe these claim to be matte. I'm going to try to put the claims in as I'm talking about each product and applying them in the beginning of the video. Um, and I don't think these claim to be matte, but I do like the applicator. Let me pull it out just so you guys can see it. I like this applicator because, I don't know if it's going to focus, but it's like a lip applicator and it's very pointy at the end and you can get right in the inner corner of your eyes and you can prime the eyelids with them because it's not drying and it's not too um, hydrating to where you can't put it on oily skin and keep it or get it to be matte. Um, but I do like the combination of all the products together. Um, I'm going to try the products separately and I'm going to leave like an updated um, updated review in the description once I um, try the products with other products mixed in just to see how they work on their own with other things. Alright so that is it for this review video. Um, I have so many more reviews coming up. I have so many planned. I don't want to say like all of them because I want you guys to see them when they come up. I want you to anticipate it and I want you to subscribe to the channel so you can see the new videos that I'm going to be posting because I'm telling you 2019, oh my god, 2019 I'm going to be posting more. I'm going to be very consistent this year. I promise you I will be more consistent and I'm going to be trying new things. Um, I already have three foundations in mind that I want to be trying out. I have one of them and I want to get two, I had to buy two of them, but I have one already that I want to be trying out soon. So make sure you subscribe to my channel so you guys can see my thoughts and opinions on the new foundation I'm going to be trying out. So yeah, that is it for this video. If you guys want to see more by me, 
Don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like on your way out. And I hope to see you in my next one. Bye.